has a uniform linear charge density lambda. Find the electric potential at the center of the semicircle, of the semicircle here. So now you can pick any any dq, and it will be lambda times d whatever this length called dl, if you like. If this length, the length of the arc is dl, then it's just lambda dl. So this is at the distance r from this point. So what is the potential produced at this point? Ke dq over r. And dq is just lambda dl. This is the potential produced V by dq. What is the total potential now? It's the potential produced by all the dl's or the dq's. You have to add them all up. So it's ke lambda over r integral dl. The integral of this. But everything is constant here. Ke, lambda, and r are constant. So this is just Ke, lambda, over r. The integral of dl. The integral of dl means adding up all the dls. All the dls. So if I add up all the dls, so I, I'm dividing this semicircle into millions of zillions of segments. And then I add up the length of all the segments. What do I get? I get the length of the semicircle, which is pi r. So this is equal to ke lambda over r times pi r. That's the length of the semicircle. So just Ke, which is 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0, times lambda, the R cancels, times pi. So just lambda over 4 epsilon 0. This is the this is the electric potential produced by the rod of length L bent into a semi circle. I can express it in terms of the total charge Q if I want. How would I do that? I should multiply by pi r up and down. If I multiply by pi r up and down, then lambda times pi r, pi r is just the length of the rod. So lambda times pi r is just the total charge cube. So it becomes q over 4 pi epsilon 0 r. This is the electric potential produced by the rod, which is the same as Ke Q over R, where Q is the total charge on the rod. 